Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today, we're going to do our Ur Uranium Daily Technical Analysis Update, and I'll give you my opinion, tell you what I see in the charts. Uh, so what I've got behind me right now is the Sprout Physical Uranium Trust, and we've got this bearish engulfing here. I don't, we'll see what happens. We might see this thing pull back a little bit, but uh, I don't like seeing bearish engulfing. Uh, usually that means we, we're gonna head a little bit lower. That's what it's throwing at the moment. Uh, again, this is a very small volume. I want to see this turn on higher, but I'm also seeing a reversal in oil. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm not doing anything with my shares. I'm just watching this. Uh, but this is a could potentially head, head back lower. Um, unless there's some other reason that it threw a bearish engulfing that I'm not aware of. Uh, looking at URNM, which is the ETF. We're coming on down here. We still got some selling pressure. We're at this support area that we're at. Uh, it's it's giving support today, and let's see where it goes uh, tomorrow. We, we need to see buying pressure come in. We need to extend the opening and closing price with big buying pressure like this candlestick here to really get out of here. Uh, so I'm looking for buying pressure. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm trying to find buying pressure. We're getting a little bit of buying pressure here in Batterman. It's a bullish engulfing. It's a little bit of buying pressure stepping in. Hopefully we can keep this pressure coming in uh, we've got goviax uranium putting in a small update a little bit of a wick at the bottom hopefully we can get some buying pressure to come in and move this thing higher uh, that's what i'm looking for global atomic putting in a bullish piercing pattern with a little bit more volume hopefully we can get back into the pattern so it's looking a little bit better there forces metals just chopping sideways not much to really say there pure point uranium chopping sideways a little bit of a down day today. Uh, deep yellow, a little bit of a down day, but we're still within the pattern. Everything looks okay. Uh, Paladin Energy. This is a near-term producer company. Uh, this is the big, the big winner. Uh, last bull market was Paladin Energy. And again, we're just chopping sideways. We got a small update today. Uh, I'm looking for buyers to step in with big buying pressure. We have not seen it in a lot of these companies yet. Uh, we're at support for Sky Harbor, and hopefully this support can hold and we start moving on up. Next Gen Energy, NXE. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fly through these guys uh, if it allows me to. We're at support. That's where we're at. We're finding support, and hopefully we can reverse this downward movement. There's a lot of momentum behind this reversal day, the down day, and these big sell-off days. Hopefully we can reverse it and move on up. This is a small update. The sellers are still in control until I see buyers come out and reverse it. So we haven't seen it yet. Uh, and same with Can Alaska, just a small update in comparison to these large sell-off days. So we need to see this turn around and get some big buying pressure behind it to turn that momentum around in the selling pressure. Next is Baseload Energy BSENF. This is a bullish piercing pattern, and hopefully we can get some momentum to the upside and turn this around right here to move on higher. Fission 3.0, uh, yeah, 6.26% update. Looks like we're trying to flatten out that momentum and eventually turn. It's on low volume, though. So I would say the momentum is still to the downside until it is turned. Fission Uranium, we're right at that support level. A flat day, we do have uh, on a bigger picture view an ascending wedge pattern which could break to the downside and potentially give us a return move, which would be a better buying opportunity. Um, if I were to kind of just draw this here uh, to give you a, a potential breakout move, see, this is this is a potential move, a return move to the, if this were to break to the downside, a potential return move that could that could go even to the breakout if it wanted to. So we'll see what happens. Camco, a little bit of an update today. Let's get it back on the dailies here. Again, we still have this selling pressure up here. It's a small update. The sellers are still in control at this moment. Uh, Camco looks like it's actually, or uh, Kazetum Prom. Kazetum Prom looks like it's actually turning around a little bit, and hopefully we can get some buying pressure to, to push it higher. If it's going to do it, hopefully we, we do it now. PenMF is putting in a bearish engulfing pattern, which means we could potentially have lower. Boss Energy, a little bit of a sellout, or no, it's an update today. So it's a, it's, a, it's a black candlestick. It opened up and sold off throughout the day with the momentum going to the downside. So we could see a little bit of downside pressure. 
Uh, Lotus Resources just tracking sideways. Small update today. Or it's a black candlestick. Not a real big fan of the black candlesticks. Uh, Uranium Royalty Corporation just chopping sideways. We're right at the support line. We'll see if this can hold. It looks like we're trying to break to the downside. It's got a little wick at the bottom. Hopefully we can bring it back up tomorrow. Encore Energy, a little bit of a sell-off day today. It's not really a big, big selling pressure day today. So hopefully we can find some buyers. Just find some buyers, guys. Come on. Energy Fuels, small up day today. It's a black candlestick. We might still see some, some more selling pressure to the downside. UR Energy, just chopping sideways uh, with a little up day today. Uh, UEC, a little small down day today. Again, it's contracting, and hopefully we can turn it around. Uh, LEU, a little bit of a sell, little bit more selling pressure today. Looks like we got further downside. Uh, Lightbridge LTBR, looks like we're coming to support, and let's see if that support holds. It's a very small down day. Uh, ISENF, another small little down day today. Just chopping more of a sideways movement. Hopefully that momentum's working itself off. Uh, Appy Energy, a little bit of a down day today. Not much really to say there. Denison Mines, again, a little bit of an up day. Small contraction. Hopefully we can turn it around and move on up. It's also Denison Mines there. Blue Sky Uranium, basically a flat day today, holding at support. Form Energy Metals, a small up day today. It's a black candlestick, just kind of moving sideways. Uh, Anfield Energy. Waiting for it to load. Small little, that's just sideways day to day. Not much of anything. Laramide, a little bit more selling pressure. Looks like we've got some support right underneath it. Yep, there's the support. Hopefully we don't break break down here. Western uranium and vanadium selling off today. That's not looking too good. You can see further selling pressure there. Uh, UEXCF, we're breaking down with a little bit of sell off uh, today. Breaking below its support line. You could also say there's another support line underneath it here. Um, so big picture view, just kind of looking at this. We're right there doing a back test. So we just, we're just we're just flailing around a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, looks like we got a nice, good uh, reversal candlestick here on mega uranium to potentially go higher. Uh, but overall, I mean, there's still weakness in this sector. I haven't seen the buyer step in and give us any bullish candlesticks. Um, we don't have any large updates or anything like that. So the sellers are still there. I'm waiting for the buyers to give us signals to, to say, hey, look, this looks like it's turning around and we could potentially go in. Uh, I'm not buying or selling anything in any of these um, in this sector at all. I am, if I had new money, I would try to time it better where I see a potential turn. Uh, we're seeing pressure in oil as well. And that pressure, downward pressure uh, in oil I, I think we're going to reverse here and potentially go a little bit lower in in the overall energy sector in oil and natural gas so if those sectors pull back a little bit i, I think it may weigh a little bit on this but again guys short-term reads are very difficult sometimes they they like to fling all around the place this can turn around quite quickly and you could you could see in two or three days a a, a big move where you get a you get a reversal candlestick. It shows its it's you know it it shows itself, and then all of a sudden it's 10, 20 percent up day or something like that in the reversal candlestick and the day after. So you could see a forty percent reversal so quick in this that it's very difficult to time these bottoms. So the way that I play a lot of this. So if I had a bunch of money and I wanted to enter the sector, I would cost average in. You know, buy a little bit here. If it goes down some more, buy some more a dollar below it. And then another dollar below that, buy some more. And a dollar below that, buy some more. If a dollar goes, if it goes up a dollar, maybe buy it on that too. You know, develop a strategy where you kind of systematically cost average in and try to get your best uh, pricing. Don't go all in at once if you're not in the sector and you're wanting to go into it. Slowly accumulate shares, get that vol, you know, iron out the volatility by cost averaging into it. Uh, that's the way that I would approach it. It's very hard to catch some of this stuff, and it's very hard to predict where it's necessarily going to go based off of the footprint. But I can tell you this, the selling pressure is still there, and it could reverse quite quickly. So be ready for it, and look for it. Look for, for days where it, it goes way down, it kind of scares you a little bit, and then you start to see it getting bought, bought, bought back up quite quickly.
That's where I usually buy. Uh, if you're a new person, you're saying, oh my God, uranium's crashing today. Like we get like a five or 10% down day in URNM. And all of a sudden it hits the bottom and it starts to come back up and starts leaving a wick at the bottom. That's when I usually start to buy. That's, that's one of my things. Or it gaps down and starts getting bottomed up throughout the day. That's when I add money. So that's usually when I add into the sector is when, when people get a little bit nervous. They're like, oh my God, it's way down. And then when I start seeing strength come back up, it's like, ooh, this is good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in. So I'm usually buying when your gut feels like it, you shouldn't be buying. That's usually when I'm buying and, and getting in there. Um, so I'm, I'm looking for that reversal day. And I'll let everybody know when I see it. Uh, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, give me a thumbs up for the content. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.